Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alex Press here with Angler Sports Center and this is that time of the week, your weekly fishing report. Uh, we're going to start off with your rock fishing right now. Uh, essentially, let's start off with the jigging bite. Uh, essentially, everything's going to be north of the bridge, no matter if it's jigging, chumming, trolling, whatever you want to do. If you're going after stripers, uh, your best bet is, you know, fishing from Hackett's and up towards, you know, even the mouth of the Patapsco, even a little bit northern, you know, up north from there you want to try those areas up there so jigging wise we're going to be looking at you know essentially the bay bridge pilings uh mainly in the mornings right now uh outgoing tide is still really good in late evenings during the day you have a lot of those rays coming through there uh and you know that messes up things for you guys on the pilings but if you can get out there early in the morning uh late in the evening that's going to be your best bet for jigging around the pilings if you're moving up to love point you know you can fish around the chumming fleet uh you know, Swan Point, inside Eastern Bay, there's a couple spots in there that you can try. Uh, also, the new thing right now, it's a lot of people have been fishing inside the Patapsco River, the Key Bridge, Inner Harbor area. I know that's not the best water to, you know, keep the fish, but if you're looking just to have fun or even keep a few fish uh, inside the Patapsco, anywhere in there, it's gonna be your best bet for some of that light tackle jigging bite. Uh, let's go into the chumming. I just mentioned the Key Bridge. A lot of people have been going all the way up there. If you're from that area, Pasadena, all that northern area instead of coming down here there is a good bite for you guys fishing right there by the key bridge uh you know key bridge you can go uh towards the inside of like the inner harbor uh there's a couple of good areas that where live lining eels and perch has been pretty good uh also the bite still continues to be decent it's kind of slowing down a lot point but there's still plenty of fish if you're one of the few that get out there you know first thing in the morning you'll get some fish a lot of the fleet splitting up and going to swan point now uh, right around the triple buoys, uh, great spots to just sit out there and you know chum. Uh, a lot of those bigger fish are moving towards that area right now. The Victory Point is also producing a good amount of fish. Uh, any you know your average fish right now is going to be anything from about 17 inches to about 23 inches, with a couple fish uh, you know breaking that 30 mark. Um, trolling, trolling, uh, fishing those like I mentioned triple buoys out by Rock Hall, that channel edge right up there. Uh, that's going to be your best bed. Uh, like I keep mentioning, uh, this is that time of the year when you want to bring some smaller baits. Drone spoons are going to be the hot thing right now. You can use planers, you can use inline weights. Uh, this is the perfect size, the two best colors right here. That's going to be the ticket for out there right now. Uh, we also got the pre rig GI jigs with some uh, BKDs, with our special color BKDs, you know, half ounce. Uh, with skirts or without skirts, you know, that's pretty much what you want to use out there right now this time of the year. Um, top water bite early in the mornings has been pretty good. Uh, any shallow water area like inside Eastern Bay, around the islands, uh, that's going to be a good area for you guys to, you know, go out there and try some top water. Evening bites uh, around the uh, docks inside the Severn and the Maggot have been pretty good. And uh, we got some new products here for you guys Nomad, some heavy duty plugs. Uh, we got the Chuck Norris here, you know, good famous Chuck Norris, a uh, little. Um, chuck head right there that's going to be good good bait for out there this one's more of your bigger size bait you know uh, almost like a pencil popper uh, try them out and you know you can always this is my favorite personal favorite right here just a spook super spook uh, i catch a lot of fish on that uh, early in the mornings and evenings uh, also for you guys jigging out there if you want to try something different if they're focusing a lot on the smaller anchovies it's that time of the year break them out you know break them in uh, epoxy jigs that color is my favorite color right there. You can just jig them up or just burn them in. You'll catch a lot of fish doing that. Let's jump into some of the uh, pan fish, you know, croaker, spot, and perch. If you're on a boat, you're bottom fishing, Hackett's is gonna be your best bet right now for, you know, some perch fishing. And there's a few spot, not many. We've been hearing of a couple guys catching one or two spot, so they're not fully in up this way yet. Croker, have not heard anything about croakers up this way. We've been hearing about croaker down towards Solomon's Point Lookout and the Chop Tank, but also just a few. Uh, Point Lookout area is probably going to be your best bet if you're looking for some croakers, either on a boat or from shore. Uh, evening bite and early morning bites is going to be your best bet. Shrimp, racer clams, uh, even small crabs, will, you know, soft crabs will be the best bet for that. Uh, if you're fishing around the area for perch, uh, same thing, you know, we got the perch founders. Uh, those perch are pretty much everywhere now in shallow rock air, rocky areas, rock piles, anything like that. That's going to be your best bet. Uh, you know, try different colors to see what they want. Uh, perch fishing essentially is going to be on from now on. 
uh, the little different areas might produce a little different, you know, bigger size fish from that. Um, for you guys fishing from the shoreline, Romacoke seems to be the better spot for you guys right now if you're pier fishing. Uh, and it's better spot for perch, uh, even, you know, so a, little, a little bit of spot and a lot of rock fishing in the evening, by, in like the evening tides. Uh, everybody's been using soft crabs and cut LY, your typical baits, you know, just catch the evening tide and you'll catch some fish up there. Second to that, Kent Narrows is going to be your best bet. And like I said, little jigs like, you know, the uh, BKDs and the epoxy jigs are going to be your best bet for there. Or you can also bottom fish there. Uh, let's move on to, you know, some of the uh, crabbing. Crabbing has not been the greatest right now this time of the year. Talking to a lot of people and, you know, they're not doing the, the best out here up in this general area. But if you are going crabbing, racer clams is what they want. Uh, you know, 15 foot of water or less in a moving tide is going to be your best bet. I will say early in the morning, get out there before it gets super warm, and you'll probably have your best chance to get some crabs. Ocean City fishing or to the coast, uh, you know, a lot of shark fishermen out there uh, dropping baits out of Assateague. We have those crazy case uh, rigs right here. Uh, pretty much you have your leader and your main hook here. You know, put a big old piece of uh, bait here, tuna head, anything like that, and drop it out. That's going to be your, you know, most fun. Um, get a chance to catch a big old fish, big old shark out of there, sand tigers, sand bars. Also if you're surf casting, some chunk LY is going to be the best bet for those. Um, inlet, pretty much some blue fish in the evenings with some rock fish moving through. Flounder fishing has been pretty good, it's picking up a little more. A lot more keepers than, you know, last time we talked about them. Gold baits are going to be the best bet for that. So. Pretty much that's it for your fishing report, guys. Uh, send us your reports, pictures, anything like that. Make sure you subscribe, like us on Facebook, and that's it. You guys have a good one.